kuje fara jira aknu jaben ni qamne amma waqi jaben gudda qab agar sisani that the excellency of the power may be of god and not of us jaben ni gudda ni hawaqa hinanit child of god god has deposited treasure but in earthen vessel abo waqi beta ilmu waqi abo waqi beta yani naf beta kha beta be we are human beings but we carry things of god and when you don't understand this you struggle with a believing man of god he says there is a treasure and god has put it in an earthen vessel which means even you seated here you can be carrying something very precious from heaven and you don't know asile ha garante to wambe tamuimu ha guba ba te garante te jet khambein why does god deposit divine things in human vessel ma fa bo wa ibeta wa wa guto wa ni sa nu heka so that the power and the glory may be unto god and not unto us akbeta jabena bulfini wa qafta ununiti grace reaches us through human vessels dan detin abo wa qarabete wa namati nu gadufti grace is packaged in human vessels dan detin abo qatunni namke jirti grace is the divine currency that god uses to help us to do the will of god dan de timbeta yani hori beta hawa ka abo wa gibeta aknu fedi satol chin i say it again grace is the divine currency just like we use money as a currency grace is the currency of heaven dan de tina abo wa gibeta akumari akum hori jirt akum bese aranu tu mintan when you have it it helps you to do the will of god here on earth yat qaba te sin sigar gar ak beta fedi wa qala gubba tolchi that's why zechariah 46 he says tell the rubabel it is not by might it is not by power but by the help of the spirit of god for this mountain will come down by the shouts of grace and grace it is not for us it is for god tanabs kitaba Zechariah for six. Zechariah Zechariah afurjaira. Yes. Ah uh, Zerubabel yani e, kuni jaben kesa nini amo jaben nabo akan tatid unni hone. Tell Zerubabel it is not by might it is not by power. Zerubabel itimet huni ni jaben hanke tini hani isini e afurwa katin tat. He says it is by the help of the Holy Spirit. Gargas afur kul kulon tat. Which spirit is this? Afuru hunkam it is the spirit of grace afur better than the tia boak he says this mountain will be brought low by the shouts of grace and grace and gar kan beta woni ga busa nini beta ah sauti beta yohani dan de tia boak an ga busa nini gar kan and so grace is what helps us to da, do the will of god dan de tina boak beta wan gar gar aknu fedi wa katol chin it is the divine currency of heaven Number 2 by grace you can do natural things supernaturally Atini dan de ti abo akatini wan kaweda beta harabeta jaben wakatin tochu dan de I say it again Amal by de grace de. you can do natural things supernatural supernaturally Kara dan de ti abo akatini ati wan kaweda na mitochu hara jaben na abo akatin tochu dan de and you can also do supernatural things naturally amale one better jabenale atin akka wayde to chudandit that's why when you lay hands on a person and they get healed there is nothing you have done you have just done a supernatural thing in a very natural way by laying on of hands tanafo jat arkan ke beta namir kete e fai daban fai yohani si wa mama tinti wanu beta wan gutto wan jabena atini akum kawida to chit when you pray for somebody and their business flourishes within a very short time there is nothing much serious you have done the grace of god has just done a supernatural thing in a very natural way you had better be sharana mati wakala te be sharantan duradente wangu to jatenit 
dande ti abo akati one so no jet one beta jabdu kharala kharaha wede to kon ojete but for this grace to reach to the people it requires a vessel to da, carry it dande ti na abo akatu nam tak abiti yohan isi mi face it nam face it child of god il muaka number 3 sadeso the grace of god dande ti na abo aka is not about mere change but it's about exchange isi yoha wanum jijiram sanity ammo wan beta the grace of god is more than just change it is a divine exchange yani wan jijirana jijiraniniti ammo beta wanami woli hen second corinthians 5:21 he says him who knew no sin became sin that we may become the righteousness of god a divine Corin- exchange corinto la meso shan di eh sadet sagal habeta dab in ben dab taid akbeta yohan ulumargan him who knew no sin became sin habeta yohan dab in kamne inni dab tai that we may become the righteousness of god aknu beta ulqullo waqata that was an exchange Sumbeta yoha wana mi wodi Jesus that was righteous took the place of a sinner and you that was a sinner Jesus transferred you to the place of righteousness a divine exchange that is called grace Wane do Yesu mbeta kul kullo tay kul kul kullo tay inni chubu tay at ka chubu kul kullo tay tay sumbeta wan wa yohani wolna ma wan inni na ma hin In 2 Corinthians 8 and verse 9 Corinto la meso bukot sadete kajel tu sagali He says he became poor so that we can become rich Inni beta hi yeste aknu beta durum margan That is a divine exchange Sum beta wa wa yo ha woli namus ena mahen When grace comes on you dan deti wa ka yo sigubaru It takes the place of your weakness Fula la fin kan keti fudat And it gives you its place of strength Do jabe no fi si henit That's why you cannot afford to die poor Tanafi atimbeta hi human in don Grace has already taken the place for you Dan deti ya yu fulasi kabat He became poor so that you in Christ may become rich Asi in ni beta ya yu hi human for that akat beta Kristo hes durum margat It is a divine exchange Wan beta abo akina ma wal na ma hen Child of God number 4 Afreso to unlock this grace you need knowledge about it akbeta yohan dan de ti abo ka nar gatu atin be kum sa si fesis to unlock this grace to work in your life you need knowledge ak dan de ti na abo ka sun jiran ke to jatu ak dan de be kum sa si fesis the mystery of grace lo sabeta yohan dan de ti abo ka eden grace is not just normal knowledge that's why many people don't know how to appropriate it people don't have much knowledge about grace they don't know how to work it it is a mystery Nan, hidden mystery na me do want than the tea bo han in be man if than the tea bo want osa the grace of god number 5 comes to us in different forms through his word e than the tea bo abe ta karada akakati nu gaduft karaje chisatin the grace comes to us in different forms through the word dan de tina bo haraka kanu gaduft kharaje chisati we have the grace of healing dan de ti abo ka beta fayina jir and there are people who carry that grace wor dan de ti abo ka sun bate de mu jir healing is very normal for them fayisi de wor rabeta wan kawaida we have the grace of deliverance dan de ti abo ka beta yo khani na mi khani jir doing deliverance is very easy for them and they love it beta nam hidini warati wa rais tok we have the grace of salvation dan de ti ba fa majir where we find evangelists like bonke it's very easy for them to speak for 5 minutes or 10 maximum but thousands will come to the lord you you will preach one hour nobody is lifting their hand ha ke evangelist bonke dai um sham bar si se nami kun ki gar motum ma bo ka de ben adina mo ma sato ko bar si se nami to kolle ni dufe We have the grace of prosperity. Dan de ti bete o han durat de manager. A man walks to your shop for 2 minutes and just says father in Jesus name I thank you for this place. I open it up for clients to come. This shop prospers from now. And in less than 2 months you are making the kind of profit you have never made since you began. 
Nampak tu kan dan dia tu rata dia macam kamu. Gagal bercerita dia tu dufe rata dubat. Amma aje betak kasta masih nak duf tu. Hei bercerita dia rata dubat. Atjilam kesati orang udah arga ten. You yourself, you've been praying for the last how many years since you started. Nothing is changing. Adini, if gizet er tu yang hati, kau untuk kau lain injijir, injijiran. It is a grace. Dan deti abo aga. I said it is a grace. Dan deti abo aga. I pray over somebody this week. That things will change so fast in your life, and you will not be able to explain. If God allows me, I'll talk to you about the workings of grace and show you how grace works in our life. Yo, sadin better na rusite. Ak better than deti na bo aka drinking case at oje tu cigar si said. Did you know that grace is a laborer? The grace of God is a laborer. It comes in your life to labor on your behalf. Dan deti na bo aka better. Maro hangi ti ufte oje tim better. Zire hangi sente. When you learn that, you will never struggle with business. You will never struggle with employment. You will never struggle with ministry because it is not about you. It is about the grace. Yo beta wan kanu bate atin beshara hesat uji hesat ministry hesat in ibamt manifi isin dandeti abo akandam dandesis. Child of God, there are key major pillars about grace. Two of them that I want to give you. Wal lambeta kadandeti abo akawili lal. These are the two pillars that holds the concept of grace. Yani wam dandeti abo ha wal lam kajajabe sewa hank abatejir. Number one. Hakara. The God of Grace. Wak beta had dan deti ab. Number two. La meso. The Grace of God. Dan deti abo aka. It sounds like it is the same thing. It is not the same. Isini wanum takava kati amota kaniti. And I'll show you in the Bible. Sigar si said. Number one. Takara. The God of Grace. Wak beta had dan deti ab. This is talking about the personality of Grace. God as a person. Abwa aknama. The personality of grace. Yani dandeti abwa katana. God of grace. Work better than deti. First Peter five and ten. Peterok arash yankudan. First Peter five and verse ten. Peterok arash yankudan. I want you to read it. The God of grace. Work better than deti. Amo egi isambulti diko to gargal tani wagi ebchuf ka ak gudin Kristo walin kada tani isan yame isan kitese jabe nisani kene yayab jaba isani midasa. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto His eternal glory by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while. There is a little suffering. Suffered a while. There is a little suffering. He says, when that God has come with his grace, may he perfect you, establish you, strengthen you, and settle you. The God of grace. Read it again in that translation. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto his eternal glory of, by Christ Jesus, after that you have suffered a while, he says, may he make you perfect make you established make you strengthened and settle you isan, that is the god of grace isan kitese jabe nisani hene ya yabjaba is, isani mida sunini wak beta dan de tikab the god of all grace is a personality like a human that we see he is a personality akum namai wake he is the custodian of grace he is the owner of grace nami beta dan de tikabu is and he has all grace that manifests in different ways. That's why he can manifest as Rafa, the Lord our healer. He can manifest as Jireh, the Lord our provider. He can show up as Nisi, the Lord our banner. He can show us as El Shaddai, the all-sufficient one. He is the custodian of grace. And he can manifest that grace in any different form he wants. Child of God, grace 
also functions through personalities. The same way God is a personality of grace, he needs other personalities to use to reach this grace to the people. The purpose of the God of all grace Through his grace He does these four things in your life When this grace comes Four things must happen Number one Perfect you in it is. Why? Because you are imperfect. Man, if at it um up. The grace of God takes the place of your weakness. Then perfect you in that area. You don't remain weak forever. When grace comes, your weakness becomes a strength. May God perfect somebody this year. I said, May God perfect somebody this year. Don't remain in that area of weakness forever and use it as an example. Brethren, understand that is my area of weakness. No. When the grace comes, that weakness becomes a strength. The word perfect you, that means restore you. It you, are here, you were once there and you lost it. So he restores you back. He perfects you. To your first position. In grace, there is restoration. What you lost can come back. In the grace of God. Once again, may God perfect you. Number two, establish you. To establish means to give you a strong support and a strong foundation. You are weak, flickering, flickering. You didn't have stability. But when grace comes, you become stable. Any area of your life you are flickering, may God establish you this way. To establish you, to give you stability. Number three, when grace comes, it strengthens you. To strengthen means to fortify. Yes, you are strong, but not strong enough. When grace comes, it makes you much stronger than you think you are. There are people who believe they are good in some things. But when the grace comes, you discover you are not that good. The grace has made you much better than the way you thought. Some of us believe I can preach if I'm given the microphone. I can push this thing. When the grace comes, you discover you are not that good a preacher because the grace does it much better than the way you would do you would do it before. You the grace of God strengthen somebody tonight. Oh, your amen is at home. I said, may the grace of God strengthen somebody tonight. Where people thought you cannot do, they will be shocked this year. You will do better than they thought in Jesus' name. The grace strengthens a man. And finally, number four, the grace settles you. It settles you. Sit up. No more doubt. No more question mark. You are settled. Your foundation is now very sure. You are not thinking of otherwise. You are settled. You have confidence. Praise the Lord. Where I come from when you marry. 
and you have not yet paid dowry that woman is never sure whether she is still she is in that home and she is married in that home until the day you go and pay dowry when she comes back she settled now she knows this is my home why because mm -hmm. he has paid my dowry yo achi debit sinim bet amma kacha kantet manif ya you better at one or isi ba sumala ya ba when the grace is not at work you are not very sure dan de tina bo ak ayo si uje ya chutin jirane when the grace begins to work you are settled Gaf better than the tina boaka ujijel kabatu ati ya you better eh dabat This year may God settle you where you are not sure whether you are there Eh gan hana boaka better flat in better this year think flat better Look at your neighbor and tell him this year you will have peace you Gan hana tin naga argatedi If your neighbor is not talking is a suspect look for the other one Yo Tell him this year you will have peace Gan hana tin naga argatedi The Lord will settle you by his grace. Abo wakida ndeti sati sidaf. Praise the Lord. Yes on gofta. So that is the first concept of grace. It is the God of grace. Sunini wa beta yohani khabeta ndeti abu. The personality of God. Namu ma beta yohani wa kikab. That carries grace. Khabeta yohani ndeti ba tedi. Principle number 2 is the grace of God. Until a meso dan de ti abo aka Titus 2:11 Kitab Tito lam ani to The grace of God is talking about the functioning of grace Dan de ti abo aka yani aka ujibeta dan de ti abo aka radubat The working of grace Akbeta yohan dan de ti abo aka ujujet The responsibility of grace in your life Ujibeta yohan dan de ti abo aka jiran ke hesat how grace works in your life the functioning of grace titus 2:11 let's go there very fast artian the bible says the grace of god has appeared to all men ontia kanati fi waqia e bu fi marro ba fam nam tsofati fi mulise For the grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men verse 12 teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lust we should live soberly righteously and godly in this present world the functioning of grace e bisunini one nunje to one am to hawaki infene ara nafala lakisa uf korkorada ajela laftan kes zire waqi fedu hesta Grace of God that bringeth salvation has appeared to all men. Dandetina boaka tabafa manga duftu ya yunu mulat. But not all men have received it. Namichofo dandetia boaka ni fudan. It has appeared to everyone but not everyone has accepted. Namchofa la yunu mulat ya mona michofi si fudan. And what is this grace appearing to us to do? Dandetitu tanu mulat tu mano jet to teach us. Aknobar sisit to teach us Aknobar sisit I'm teaching you by the grace of God Ani ni dandeti abo akal sambar sisu jir I was not eloquent before but by the grace of God I am eloquent now And dur ingi gisaid am mo dandeti abo akal sin am man nak da sadu bad I didn't know much before but by the grace of God he has taught me over and over the years Dur guddo am beku am mo dandeti abo akal sin wa gi guddo tur ganne duna bar sisel He appears to all men to teach us Inni beta na ma mullat ak beta nu barsi Child of God grace is an educationist E dan de tina bo waka na zini wan number sisa Grace is the source of information and revelation Dan de tina bo waka fulana mi be kum sa amale mu liar gat He is an educationist Inni nam number sisu He is like a teacher in a class Inna kum ma li mo han barsi se ma man wo fla bara tan kesat Grace has the wealth of information about God and about life. E dubi amale dandetina boaka be kums guda marro waka ti amale marro jire na male kapti. I say it again. Grace has a wealth of information about God and about this life we live in. Dandetina boaka beta wane tu hanam barsis kapti marro aboaka ti amale marro wan jire na jira tuhan. 
1 Corinthians 2, 9 through to 11. He says, things that eyes have not seen, ears have not heard, neither entered into the heart. The things God has kept for us in store. Verse 10, they are revealed by the Spirit because it is the Spirit who searches the deep things of God and knows what the will of God is concerning us. He is a teacher. He knows more than we know. Corinto kara lam sagala kudani toko wambe telti nama nargi wanguri nama nagai wambe tak albi nama nubati ni wakibe ta world isajala tu kabit dubu wankan afur chala be mani fi afura be ta osa wakatana nudi de sudanda. Things that eyes have not seen. Wambe ta ilti nama nargi. Grace of God has seen. Dande tina bo akaya. Things that ears have not heard. Wanguri nama nagai. Grace of God has heard. Dande tina bo akaya. Things that have not entered into the heart of man. One only nama seen. These things God has kept them in store somewhere. Abo akifla to kia yunuros. The grace of God knows where. Dande tina bo akifla sinjir tindo. Since they are revealed to us by the Spirit. And the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of Grace. May Grace teach you this here in Jesus' name. Grace is the best teacher you can ever have. I know you have your teachers who taught you in school. But I want to introduce you to another teacher of life. After you finish school, you come to the school of life. And the teacher in the school of life is called Teacher Grace. You didn't hear what I say. When you are in school, you are learning education and you have your teachers there. And when you finish and graduate, you have not finished. You enter into another school. It's called the school of life. In the school of life, people don't graduate in the school of life. And the teacher in the school of life is called teacher Grace. Grace. May the Grace Hallelujah. Amen. May the grace teach you. Look at your neighbor. Say neighbor. Obey teacher grace from today. Praise the Lord. Yes, Brethren, grace cannot operate from space. Grace cannot operate from a vacuum. It cannot that, operate from a space. It that, needs a man to use. And that's where now our subject comes in personification of grace. How grace reaches us. I pray that from today you will not handle people carelessly. Because they may be carrying the grace you need. In order for grace to reach us. Grace is packaged in human vessels. Write these ones very fast. I have a few minutes remaining. By grace, but grace cannot operate from space. It needs a man to use. Therefore, in order for grace to reach us, grace is packaged in human vessels. In John 4.24, God is a spirit. He dwells and operates in the spirit world. And therefore he needs a human vessel to use as a medium of operation. Into this physical world. He can't operate with us as a spirit. Imagine if we are seated here in the service and God was speaking here and there's no human being like me. It is a spirit speaking. You are hearing a spirit but you are not seeing anybody. How many of you will still sit here? And 
A spirit is speaking. You are not seeing it, but you are hearing the voice. Will you sit there? That's why God needs a human vessel. We have this treasure in human vessels. He needs a human vessel and that's where now servants of God come in. Praise the Lord. Yes, if you understand that, you will never handle your pastor carelessly because you know he is more than just a human being. He is God's voice over my life. Even if your pastor is your brother, your sister, your uncle, your auntie, your whatever, your son, your daughter, when he is under pastoral unction, when God is at work in his life, he is not your relative anymore. He is God's voice. I told you in the morning, familiarity can make you miss your God sent man. Why? Because he's just my uncle. He's just my brother. After all, this is my son. He's not your son anymore. He's a servant of God. God is using him to speak to you by his grace. Because grace needs a human vessel to use. Child of God, grace is embodied in man as a carrier for it to affect men. Grace is packaged in man, embodied in man to affect men. You can also say grace is given to men for men. The grace I carry is not for me. It is for people that need to be transformed. That's why our ministry is called JCC ministry and in Busia we are called Destiny Center transforming lives by the word of God. So I carry grace for transformation. Different people carry graces for different things. Mine is for transformation. If you sit with me for six months and you don't change, I'll tell you to go look for somewhere else. Why? Because in less than two months, I must see change in your life. Man, if you have done that, you will not stay in heaven. You are in better jail now. All in tete in jiramini. Atini, you have done more than. Tell your neighbor, grace is given to men for men. Then that is Abu Aga Oni na mahena na kanam dibille kara. Look at the other one again and tell him, grace is embodied in men for men. Then that is Oni si kani if dam ibi si kena. And men is inclusive women. Men is plural. I did not say male and female. Ephesians 3 and verse 2. For this cause I, Paul, the prisoner of Jesus Christ, for you Gentiles, for you have heard of the dispensation of the grace of God, which is given me to you, word. It is given me to you, word. Grace is given to men for men. This dispensation of grace is given me to you, word. Isayada getani akwaki e bisatini ujita na hene ak isan isani jede hujadu. So any man that is used of God, they carry grace. You just need to know whether it is a relevant grace that you need in your life. Nami wak o jadi unchova nami unchova dandeti abo aga bahedir. Si ke sauba chumal dandeti zoom. This morning glory, I will show you how to connect to that grace. Those who are not coming for morning glory at Divine Church, you are missing out a lot. You are missing. You are missing your hour of visitation. Nami weta wori ganama morning glory ufutunjire wangu tega budget gizi abo agesi la si wolwolda umale 
Continue sleeping. I told the people when you sleep too much, you sleep on your destiny. Tell your neighbor that. When you sleep too much, you sleep on your destiny. Do you know why people wake up very early in the morning and they begin to make sounds and enchantments into the atmosphere? At four o'clock, they are already making enchantments into the atmosphere. You, you are pulling your blanket. And you expect to to overcome. Look at your neighbor and tell him, men who command the morning control the day. Tell your neighbor that. That is, a, that is a principle in the world of the spirit. And it works across the board. It does not matter which religion. Any man who wakes up early in the morning and commands the morning, he controls the day. It doesn't matter which religion he goes to. It doesn't matter which religion he goes to. Are we together, child of God? So don't fail me in the morning. I want to show you how do you connect to grace. Because this grace is given to men for men. But the men that should be collecting it are either ignorant or they have despised the grace. Child of God, Jesus was the grace of God walking on earth. He came to us as God's grace and truth revealed. John chapter 14 and verse 6. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh through the Father but through me or by me. Hebrews 10 and verse 29. He that despises Moses' law, he that despised Moses' law, they died without mercy under two or three witnesses. Of how much so punishment? Suppose ye shall he be uh, thought worthy who has trodden underfoot the Son of God. He has trodden underfoot the Son of God and has counted the blood of the covenant wherewith he was sanctified an unholy thing and has not has done despite unto the Spirit of grace. He says, How much so punishment shall he have? The one who has despised the Spirit of grace. Just do the last part. Nami il muaka tu fatu kati wala kisa wak kisa kulkulesan bilash seu kalupu e barabsu mal to chare gargalisa akini hama meherega. It is possible to despise the grace of God. Dan deti abo aka nami tu fatu danda. And those who despised Jesus, Jesus didn't do anything much in their life. No. Wari yeso tu fatu yeso wangu tu chare waras tu nje. Only those who respected and honored are the ones who saw the power of God in their lives. May you not despise the spirit of grace. Child of God, grace is not about age. It is about purpose. Jesus as a child is already graced for his purpose in Luke chapter 2 and verse 40. Kitaba Luka bokot lama kajel tu afurta milama yesoni ya dandeti abo akabait. Grace is not about age; it's about purpose. Yani wanga nani tiyed? Yani dandeti na abo akak. That's why in Luke 2:40, Jesus is already graced, but he is a child. He's, the Bible says he was full of grace. He grew, waxed strong in the spirit, filled with wisdom, and the grace of God was upon him. And yet he's still a toddler. When Moses came over to Aaron and Miriam, they thought it is just their third born brother because he was number three from behind. And Miriam thought that after all, I'm the one who saved you at the lake. You would have drowned. 
And uh, Aaron was saying, my friend, you, when you arrived, I was already here. I'm elderly than you. And they began to talk funny about the grace of God, to talk about Moses. God came down. He said, why? How can you talk about my servant like that? Number three was number one. Eh mira mi Aaron in beta a obleya Musa amori is in sirjeran inni hasadeso amori mira milani akribi islal is to fatu jalkab duri lena umati bisan kesa is fusila inni bisan es fratet Aaron ilen namik ara najid amo abbo wakidu borad dubate isan man so da ne digar bichkira dubachu hasadeso akarata akwa kagul Number 3 became number 1 Kasadeso nam karata Number one became number three. Number one ni ka misho tay. Kasadeso. Moses was younger than Aaron. Musa mbeta Aaron ni renidika. Aaron was the elder brother of Moses. Aaron ni inni obles gudda ha Musa. When it came to destiny. Yo beta one durana du basan. Moses was the representative of God. Musa mbeta wa ka beta wa ka abat wo. Grace is not about age. Dan de tina bo ka yo khani sin gan ni faith. It's about purpose. Isim beta huji yo ha yad wa ik abu. <laughs> I normally say we can be age mates, but we can never be grace mates. Ani ni refu la sani tim. Yani ganana na beta gan takata udande na amu dande tina bo agayo duan dande tia bo agajere kena la dubanu ak takata undande. In other words, don't despise anybody because he's younger than you. It is the grace he carries that makes him be where God has put him. Haraga baba ni e beta nam beta o kan sir dik ale in tufatinje mani fi dan de ti abo ka beta fulai niger sun kaiger Jesus at age 12 sat in the temple and reasoned out the elders until they all got mesmerized they were wondering whose son is this this boy is talking much more than his age they look at the boy is too small but what he's talking he's too mature they said whose son is this at age 12 he beat all the elders in argument. Yes, so gave better. them the reality of the truth. They all feared. They started looking for the father. It's not about age. It's about purpose. Yes, so hagan kud ayla majro. Inni beta yoga negar man wa esat alole wali beta nit hae wali wali wair regio han maswa gafil legavat. Paka wari imma man kul ilm enu edan. Hedani mama ni abai sabar badan. Chuo ni ni wanga nani tio hani wa yadwa kina makab. Child of God. You can be full of grace and you can also choose to be half of grace or quarter of grace. E you can also be an eighth of grace. The choice be, is yours. As beta yohani dan deti abo kasan guta mu dan deta nus abachu dan deta kota abachu dan deta kota era le nus abachu dan deta. If you want to be full of grace, the choice is yours. Yeah. I will show you in the morning glory. E si yoham sit mura si chagwa to ansi fuat. I got faith. John chapter 1 and verse 14. Yohana to kulani afur. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. And we beheld his glory as the glory of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Full of grace and what? Truth. Not half of grace. Full of grace and truth. The word became flesh. Who was that? Jesus. Jesus. Nugudin is agare akum gudin in tokocha hagara abati by haeba lugangutamt. Look at verse 16. Ajel to any jalal. And of his fullness, not of his halfness. A bit is a kit, or hand and dating is a kit, or just of his fullness have all we received grace for grace. Yani nulle lia you gudin yanik it umes lira ya yorgan. Of his fullness. Have we received grace for what? Grace. Yani gudam sisa kabeta ni e bayohan dan dete wakati inguza mira nule ya you are God. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. Seri haramusan namakenan amodu gafi yohan dan dete na bo akara Kristo nufti. Of His fullness have we received grace for grace. Gudam sibeta yohan ka. You can, you can choose to operate in full blast grace. As in fortune than date, you better go to him. Sad than date, you can choose to operate halfway grace. You can choose to operate quarterway grace. You can quarterway grace. You can quarterly or just university or just ahead. The choice is yours. Fortune than date. I will show you in the morning glory. How do you activate grace in your life? 
ganam gulai sam barsi said akami ni dande ti abo asan fkesa kasi said how much grace do you want to command it's in your hands dande ti akama ja jufed arkan ke hejirt jesus came in the fullness of grace yes on beta gutam sbeta yohan dande ti abo akando of that fullness he distributed to us grace for grace yani dande ti khaybeta is gut sun ke sanu nu qode Let me surprise you with this one and close. City may just kind of casino bafa day. Grace is poured in us and upon us. Dan de diabo aka ya you better nuupa jisan amale ya yamale nuhes nuhesa jisan. Yes. Grace is poured in us and upon us. Ya better amale nuhesa jisan amale gubale nu jisa case of gubale. That's why we can get full of grace. Tanafia gu dan de diabo asa na nguta mudande. That means we are carriers of grace to minister to others. Nubete yohan dande ti abo akaba nejir. Akbete yohan nama tajajil. Psalm 45 and verse 2. Kitab Zaburi afutamishank ajel tu lama. Psalm 45 and verse 2. Kitab Zaburi afutamishank ajel tu lama. Thou art fairer than the children of men. Grace is poured into thy lips. Grace is done what? Poured into thy lips. Therefore God has blessed thee forever. Grace is poured upon you into thy lips and therefore he says God has blessed you forever. Grace can be poured. Dan de ti abo ka kan sir Jesus dan dan. Thou art fairer than the children of men. What makes you fairer? At in them over me that day to be waka. Thou art blessed forever. What makes you blessed? Grace. Man ti beta malaka na mchu fir e from such it dan de ti abo waka. And how does that grace come upon us? It is poured. Dan de ti suna coming ga duft is is registered. I wish I told pastor to carry a bucket of water and put it here so that when I reach at Psalms 45 verse 2 I don't say I just carry this water and pour it on you so that you understand the meaning of grace is poured you leave this place when you are wet Sila that said pastor yo ni ni bisangu te garanga fide bisanga no no suni fure sane ji said akbeta e dandeti abo kana majisan akatuba tue You know there are people who don't understand the word pour until you pour something on them then they say hey, that's what it means to pour oh je chena majisan na mi eduni nu batu et ax ak beta wa yiti jisani nani argut child of god my prayer for you tonight e galgala da hanka da chanti maron ke ti that god may pour his grace upon your life akabo agidan de tu fi sirak jisu that amen is hungry it's lunch time i am praying wonni an siharad that God may pour his grace upon your life. Wa kidan de ti sakini si guba jis. Not he may sprinkle grace. Ah ah ah. Si fisiti yani fir fir sanit. Not he may dish little grace. Ah ah. Odi ko si chop sanit. I'm just praying that the angel of God comes here with a bag of grace and pour it on your life. Malika na bo kadan de ti guddo ndu ta kisi sirra jisit. When grace is poured on your life. Yo dan de ti beta guddo sirra jigate. Two things happen. Wa la ma sirra ta. You become fairer than men. As in beto kan nam chofer mi da. And you are blessed forever. Atak jiru jire na la yo bi. Thou art fairer than men. Ati nam kan chofer mi da da. Therefore God has blessed you forever. Ak jiru jire na wa ke asi. Because grace has been poured. Man if then they tear up as I see you close I speak over your life Yo bafa do say me you be better this year than last year Gan kan ak ara le me you be fairer than men Ak ara le nam chover rajabad In the name of Jesus Mak ay Jesus Christo ti We don't live to compete with others Woni nu jira nu fak beta yo hanna mo lin compete We live to compliment with others Ak beta yo ha wol jar wol kar It is so so good sometimes to have positive competition Yo gar yo ha wol li competition in lenta said When he says you are fairer than men You are better than can't ever It means you are better than those who are around you Wor si bit jir chufa di bit altaid May you be better than your equals May you be better than those who are your age mates. Wor beta kan hanke into ko ir beta ti ol khaye. How by the grace being poured on you. Dan karabe dan de ti apo aka sirra jisan. Then number 2. La meso. May you be blessed forever. Ak jiru jire na e bifam. 
not blessed this year and the next year you are struggling then another year you are blessed and another year you are struggling if you struggle 2023 2024 no more struggle in the name of jesus i said no more struggle in the name of jesus in Ibam Twenty Gan Twenty Twenty Four and Twenty Twenty Three, the Bamu was then they die. Then they tear Boagatin. I came loaded for grace upon your life. And in then they tear Boag about the Lufet Jerehan Kedzi. That Marsabit this year. Marsabit Ganhan. Things will happen differently in the name of Jesus. Mark Ayaso Christo in Kara Ada Water. In the body of Christ this year in Marsabit. A better Jerem better work together. Things will work differently. Differently in the name of Jesus. Why? Because grace has been poured upon us. I stretch my hands over this city. And I pray may the grace of God be poured over this city. May the grace of God appear to all men. On the east and to the west. On the north and to the south. May the grace of God be poured over this land. May it appear unto all men. The grace of salvation. Child of God, it is not by might, it is not by power, it is by the help of the Spirit of God, and it is the Spirit of grace upon grace. I want us to rise up on our feet. And I want us to divide ourselves into four. Afra free work order. The first, the first four lines. One, two, three, four. I want you to face that direction and stretch your hands. The last two lines on that side. I want you to face the other direction and stretch your hands. The last three lines from behind there up to where mama is here. I want you to stretch your hands on that end and lift your hands like a prophet of God. I'm doing a prophetic thing. I didn't plan for this. Then the last three lines in front here. Stretch your hands towards this side. I want you to speak the grace of God over Marsabit. One minute, everybody begin to pray. Declare God's grace upon this city. Declare God's grace upon this land. Declare God's grace. Timothy 2.11 The grace of God has appeared. 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 The grace of God has appeared in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray over Marsabit right now. Pray over Marsabit right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, declare salvation. Declare healing right now. Declare deliverance right now. Declare breakthrough right now. Declare blessing right now. Over Marsabit. In the name of Jesus. Over Marsabit. In the name of Jesus. Over Marsabit. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, by your grace, by your grace, by your grace, by your grace, upon this land. Shakando de Baboria de Bacosa, Lopraca Sato de Babara de Mazaha, Lopraca Sataya, volume, volume, Regataya Babaco Shandaya, Lopraca Sato de Babara de Baha, my father, my mother, we release your grace over this land.
Grace to be poured upon your family. Grace to be poured upon your business. Grace to be poured upon your ministry. In the name that is above every day. My Father, my Maker, I declare as a prophet of God over the people of Marsabi, over the churches in Marsabi, over the families in Marsabi, over the businesses in Marsabi, as many as are under the sound of my voice, I pour the grace of God upon them. I release the grace of God upon them. Angel of the living God, pour your grace upon your people. Father, from tonight, may they not operate in half level. May they not operate in quarter level. May they not operate in an eighth level. May they operate in full grace of God.